Since the start of using FMEAs, the risk priority number has always been criticized. Let's look at two examples. The first example has a severity of 9, an occurrence of 5, and a detection rating of 2, resulting in an RPN number of 90. The second example has a severity of 2, an occurrence of 6, and a detection rating of 9, resulting in an RPN number of 108. In the past, the higher RPN in the second example would have been prioritized as an action item over the RPN in the first example. However, the first item is a safety item with a high occurrence, which should get a higher priority. In the TS-16949 requirements, it was stated that the RPN numbers should not be the leading factor for action. In 2017, a task group worked on harmonizing the FMEA methods of AIAG and VDA that has resulted in a harmonized FMEA method where RPN is replaced by action priority. Also, in aerospace, in the AS13004 method, action priority is now mentioned as an option over RPN. In the harmonized FMEA method, the RPN number has been completely removed and is replaced by action priority. In this video, we will show how the action priority works and how it is implemented in Datalyzer FMEA. To assign action priorities, a justification table is applied with categories which cover all possible combinations of severity, occurrence, and detection. Action priorities high, medium, and low are assigned to each combination, and the user can add comments per category. So instead of a number, an action priority will be assigned based on this table. Once the team has completed the initial ratings for severity, occurrence, and detection, they must decide if further efforts are needed to reduce the risk. Resources are limited, so they must decide how to prioritize actions. The prioritization should be done based on action priority. The action priority method is not a method to prioritize risks. It is a method to prioritize actions to reduce risks. To assist the team, the additional comment information column in the justification table is often used with guidelines like, no further action is needed. If you enter a severity, occurrence, and detection in Datalyzer FMEA, the action priority will automatically be taken from the table and will be entered in the action priority column. So the action priority column will only contain values H, M, and L. To prioritize risks, Datalyzer can also show RPN as well. If you click on an action priority, the action priority table appears with the specific combination of severity, occurrence, and detection highlighted for that cell. In the Datalyzer FMEA system, you can make it mandatory to perform an action with a specific action priority value. Showing mandatory cells in red gives the user a quick overview if the FMEA is complete. Datalyzer offers an advanced Analyze and Print option, so it is possible to analyze one or more FMEAs and group the data by action priority, or a combination of action priority and any other field, like severity or RPN.